That's the main thing that I would take away from this. Now, all of this is about enabling one thing, and that's allowing you to use GitHub issues as an alternative to what Claude Code will do natively, which is throw a bunch of markdown documentation into your code base. You can tell it to be organized and throw it into a docs folder, but it's still going to be blowing up your code base and also your context windows with a bunch of stuff that gets old very quickly. The best way that I've seen to handle that, I haven't seen anybody else doing this, but I'm sure that somebody is, is to use the GitHub CLI, but just tell it to use the GitHub CLI to create issues and do that in one terminal. Do that in one terminal because that is non-destructive and it's non-editing. So you can analyze your code base, you can figure out what's going on with a bug or a feature that you want to implement and have a conversation with this and say, in my case, issue, create an issue that talks about a new automatic invoicing feature. And I could go on and on about what I wanted that to do. I could do that in my dumb human terms and it's going to create a beautiful issue for that. I might do a big list of issues and then Claude will make a really thoughtful issue with great analysis and recommendations that I can come back to at any point. So this issue management through Git has been incredibly helpful to me. It also makes it really easy to work with other people because you can create a bunch of issues and then pass them off. That's the main thing that I would take away from this.